Hello, Collect the Bishop Boy, Psychic Samaria here, Psychic Extraordinary Psychic Stars with your Twin Flame Love Scopes reading for the month of June 2020 for the signs of Virgo and Taurus. Thank you for um, whoever commented or requested this video. I'm going, I have about maybe 12 more of these left. I'm trying to get this done by the end of today or definitely by tomorrow. Um, it does take a lot of energy out of me to do these readings for a lot of you guys. So, um, let's go and knock these out back to back. Um, if you do make a request and you haven't seen a pairing that you like, leave a comment and I'll do a twin flame reading for you. Um, Virgo and Taurus is one of the videos I would do to do here. Let me see. Virgo and Taurus. I'm going to work it off. Sorry, this is before I start the video, but just to show you guys all my twin flame videos that I have to do here. All right, so I got about mm, 13 or more left to do. All right, so Virgo and Taurus, as you can see, is right here. Okay, I have Sagittarius and Aquarius coming up, Capricorn and Leo, Scorpio and Leo, Aquarius and Capricorn, Cancer and Aquarius, Aries and Sagittarius, Cancer and Capricorn. Did I do that twice? No, Cancer and Capricorn. <laughs> Which I'm gonna do that after Virgo Taurus, and then, or, or you know, and then unless you give me a suggestion, but I will be doing that after Virgo Taurus. Anything after Capri Cancer Capricorn, if you like to suggest anything based on these matchings or these pairings, you can pause the video, look at this, and pick it and give me a comment. Cancer Capricorn, Cancer Scorpio, and then I'm doing Taurus Libra, and ending with Gemini and Virgo. All right, so let's go ahead, Virgo Taurus. Thank you again for um, my subscriber who recently subscribed and commented. It and ask and request a Virgo Taurus, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that one off here. So you guys know, I'm on my shit here, trying to get this done. Virgo Taurus, mark it off here. Keep you from being confused, because a lot of videos I initial next to it. All right, so, let's go ahead and get started, Virgo Taurus. For your love scopes reading for the month of June here. All right, okay, I'm gonna do two more. Shuffles, twist. All right. Rosemary, Joseph, Dennis, Lawrence, Mark, Tiffany, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Archangel Michael, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Chamuel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Sandokan, Archangel Uriel, Ishu, Oshun, Shango, Nobun. The message you have for the collective as it relates to Virgo and Taurus, is navigating through their love, life, but oh, let me do one more <laughs> for the month of June. Here we go. Nine of Pentacles, the World card, Eight of One, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse, Strength card to the right, Nine of Wands. I'm going to pull these over here, actually. Boom. Fortune in reverse, and then five of swords in reverse. So this is the past, present, future column for the month of June, or if you look at it in a sense of like what you where you're at since June 1st to June 12th. Here is present, and then what to look for in June. I'm gonna do two significant cards here. All right, first significant card, see you spirit. You're trying to tuck it away here. Left side, we have justice. On the right side, we have the knight of swords. Okay, on the low end. Significator is intuition. And then the eight of sword ones. Okay. Ooh, it looks really good. <laughs> right? Looks like these are two orange here. Maybe two orange palettes here. I got my swords and my wands. So definitely dealing with someone who may have Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra rising or moon, um, Virgo, um, or Taurus, and also anyone that has a Sagittarius, Aries, or Fire Sign, um, Moon rising, Vir 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 Venus or Lilith. Um, but moon and rising sign okay so we're dealing with virgo and taurus um earth's compatibility but you looks like you guys have a lot of fire maybe balance and air balance as far as your moon and rising sign if you don't know your moon and rising sign i, I implore and admonish you to go look that information up you can find that out by typing in free natal chart natal n-a-t-a-l chart um it should come up as astrocafe.com or that's the website actually or you can go to astrocafe.com and type in your um, information. You, do you need to know the time of birth? So it may require you to ask your mom for your birth certificate. Or if you don't have a birth certificate, look at the time of birth 
on your birth certificate. Um, Spirit arranged that, so it, you know, it's important to know your time of birth to get your rising sign and your moon sign um, as far as location where you're born as well. Um, it does add to your full um, Virgo Taurus like personality and characteristics, okay? And that's why this, this helps, you know, um, to understand when I do these readings where this energy is coming from, all right? So at the back here, let's spray this crystal with a little bit of rose water here. All right, just to neutralize crystals. Let's go neutralize the auras as well. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so based off here, ooh. So we got, again, a lot of earth energy, right? The world card sitting on top of earth. This middle Virgo Taurus right here. Looks like you guys are definitely having some stability as it relates to the home. Uh, maybe you may have felt like pressure, bored. Um, may have been feeling like you're in jail, imprisoned, not maybe go on a date, not maybe go out to eat like you wanted to, not maybe do your routine schedule like you want to, Virgo Taurus. But guess what? This is all being spiritually guided to give you some time to be at home and really concentrate on yourself and focus on family and focus on you in your own solitude and your own individuality. Uh, in, a, in addition to your spirituality as well. And so it's kind of feel like you're in prison, maybe because you can't travel, you can't go where you want to go, you can't go do anything, but, you know, but you are going to see friends, maybe you're going to see other people. I um, mean, probably you aren't able to do what you want to do as far as a couple, um, you know, as far as maybe staying at home, okay? But this does show that stability is around you, so you do have money coming, you're definitely solid, you're just having to sit the fuck down, like, like this thing is doing on this world card. Okay, and basically you're just sitting around like waiting like, mm. but you got things going. You got your money coming in, your finances look good, your health is in good health. And so just appreciate those things while you're sitting around thinking that nothing's happening around you. Things are moving very fast on the spiritual plane, okay? Um, with or without us, regardless of your sign. But for you, Virgo and Taurus, definitely is telling you to just be, just appreciate the little things. Like randomly have your, your own mental thoughts. Read a book um, if you like to write a book, Okay. Um, okay, justice is saying your intuition is definitely growing and you're definitely being more of a justice advocate. Maybe as it relates to maybe the, the times right now with the racial disparities and racial injustices we're going through with the systematic um, racism that's still existing that's being torn down. Thank God to justice. And you guys maybe are helping to advocate a protest or maybe lend a voice in this in social media and not protesting or may feel some kind of way about this strongly as far as the change, you know? So um, even if it means getting out, putting up a Black Lives Matter sign, if you're Caucasian or another race or another ethnicity other than black and black, um, but mostly non-black, you know, um, showing your support for what's going on right now um, in these trying times. And that's showing that you're pulled to that because of the, the, the spiritual energy of trying to balance everything out and eradicate these little small things that still exist um, subliminally and out in the open. <laughs> okay? Um, that's what this is saying. All right? Also, deception. Okay? Um, it's saying the seven of swords here in the reverse. Uh, above the three of swords in reverse, right? It's saying like, mm, a little bit of maybe like having to deal with a recent lie or recent like maybe like a fib. Your partner may have told you verbal tour something that he was like, this shit don't add up. But you know what? Um, I know why they lied. Maybe they don't want to hurt my feelings or maybe they lied, but, you know, or maybe this person used to lie and now they are telling the truth and maybe the truth may not be what you want to hear, but Three of Swords is saying, like, whereas before you would, you wouldn't tolerate the motherfucking lies, now it's like, at least this person was honest. But Three of Swords is still signifying that there might be a little tug string at your emotions that you may not want to deal with or maybe trying to suppress or not acknowledge that whatever this person said, even though it was true. Yeah, I fucked her. Yeah, I want to go see her. Yeah, I'm talking to my baby mama. Yeah, I'm talking to my baby daddy. Yeah, I'm sitting with my brother. Yeah, I'm sitting with my sister. Yeah, I'm sitting with my family. Yeah, I took that money to do that no more, but I had to go back and do it. Maybe I went back on something I said I was going to do. And you're like, okay, well, at least you're honest about this shit this time, but it still fucking hurts. So this says that acknowledge those feelings, you know, even by yourself, if you, you know, if you don't, you don't want to do it, in, you know, in, in, in public, however you do it, should just saying you'll get through it because you're strong. Okay, just acknowledging that whatever this thing was, that's why I know this had me some shit like, oh, this motherfucker lied. Oh, he told you, he told you, she told the truth this time. Oh shit! Now how am I supposed to feel? I never had this motherfucker tell me the truth, you know, about some shit. Now I don't, ooh, I don't have to deal with this. How am I to deal with the emotion? You know, I'm usually stronger than that. I'm a big boy. I'm a big girl. But why am I having to deal with? Why do I feel kind of way? Like I feel like I still feel fucked about this situation. Strictly saying, you get over it, okay? Because you do appreciate the honesty, and um, you and you're acknowledging your emotion. So let the strength be the thing that abides in you and also resides in you, okay, Virgo and Taurus. Also, the Knight of Wands in reverse here, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and my future column means that really all these are pointed up, right? Um, things to come, all right? This comes down to a Knight of Wands. If you think about your child, if you're trying to think about your son, if maybe you think of your, of your 
a child of a mother or um if you're a Virgo Taurus and you're childing your mother and father, if you don't get along with one of your, your parents, or maybe you're a parent and you don't get along with one of your children, um, it's the same things are going to turn around as far as your family is concerned. Or someone that you might have, you know, maybe a firecracker, maybe have a smart mouth, or maybe somebody who, like, the family has shunned away, or if you have shunned someone away, this is saying maybe you're not be open to forgiving this person, maybe because this person may not be in the best of sorts, or maybe because you're in a better position now to actually, um, you know, like, you know, like, not give a fuck. You know, your finances are, are going to get better. Also, I see you turning back to also something like an old, maybe, um, hobby. Uh, something you love to do that was getting you, getting you money, Virgo and Taurus, at the time. But because of the pandemic's going on and you have the time to do it, you're like, eh, I really don't want to start that back up and then have to stop it. Or I really want to go back to fishing. Or I really want to go back to, like, um, you know, having to, um create or whatever go back to cooking or learning how to cook or taking the master class or download the app master class on my phone for someone who's watching this that was for you thank you spirit thank you ancestors um i really want to go back to doing something i know i'm good at and great at baking or you know by doing house party or house functions or deliveries or flowers or buying flowers or you know sprucing up my house or home improvements um things like that it's saying go ahead and start doing that you have the money for it start you know going ahead and you know and doing it you don't have the time to finish it this time if you didn't last time because i know that is a fair um you know um is a fair assessment to make of, of something you may, have, you may have had to put down before because of time more so than because of money well unfortunately in reverse wants to speak to like a change of shift in the way you're doing things to get you to do something that like step outside of the box or step outside of your shell your comfort zone we're going towards do it collectively or do it to, uh, individually um, it's also, also can speak to spirituality or being seen, like, you know, being able to understand like, your gift to heal or, or do massages or to counsel um, or to um, affect children's lives or do something as far as fostering or helping kids. Okay, or your attention drawn to younger younger people. All right, it's coming up here. How do I know that? Because of that source here, the eight of wands is saying, yeah, you have the mental alacrity and the acumen, business acumen about you to get things done. You already had the foundation. In other words, for those who be like, what the fuck is that about? Um, you have the mental alacrity to do this, Virgo and Taurus. You're, you're there. You're the Knight of Swords. You're, 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 you're there. You're, you're, you're woke. You're just trying to figure out, should I move forward or not? This is something that is very fair because I'm the kind of person, I don't want to start some shit and have to stop it. Or I don't want to get to the, you know, close to the finish line and then it's like a delay or it's like, wait a minute, we can't finish the race, guys. We had a technicality. Uh, machines went out. So we don't know who won. You're like, bitch, I ran this whole goddamn three, like, almost three mile race and get to the end. This is a, just, just the an analogy. Um, and then I got almost to the end. I only had like really like a thousand more feet to go or I had about one more, you know, half a mile to go or I had about maybe three more blocks to go. And you're going to tell me rah, rah, the race is over or damn, a storm, big ass thunderstorm comes out of nowhere or, you know, we had to, you know, we can't finish the race for whatever reason. OK, um, this seems to keep stymie and you're know, stymieing you or blocking you um, from doing it. This is saying you go ahead and do it. OK, and even if you don't finish it this time, hypothetically, you do, you still come out on top. And you would have learned the lesson. You would have tried something. You attempted something. You made a, a significant impact on someone throughout the process. It says basically look through everything with rose tinted spe spectacles and also enjoy the journey. Even if it's not about finishing all the time, it's about knowing that even though you didn't finish, you, you achieved something. You have achievement all around you. You have ancestors all around you by default. They're going towards because you're earth energy. You're there to be the earth for the world. You're there to be the balance. You're there to take on all the signs in one. You got fire, you got air, you got water, all in you. So you're going to be naturally elevated to be the one to, you know, to either, you know, um, counsel or be the one to get massages or be the one to help, you know, be, be the peacemaker. All right. Or be the one to have to, you know, um, come to your senses about certain things. All right. That's what that's the thing for that as far as concerned. But you are in the right path. You guys are doing the right things as far as towards if you are concerned um, in your career life or in your daily life. Okay. Just move. Go with the flow. Don't overforce anything. Okay, just be open to whatever spirit wants you to do. Plan a little, but don't have expectations for things to go through. Or expectations is what it's really saying for the month of June. All right, Passion Ignited came up here for you, Virgo Taurus. Also got positive movement forward. Wow, this looks like somebody else is reading it. Did. Um, put a flame here. I'm gonna pull about ten of these. Okay, we got the waiting game. Okay. Okay, we got fulfillment of wishes, suffering in silence, explains the eight of wands, right? I'm going to pull it back up, right? But you got positive movement forward. Even though you feel like you're not going nowhere, you are going to move. You are moving forward. You're in the right direction, okay? Let's pull about one, two, three, one, two, three, five, five more, okay? Then we got truth. 
Okay, again, I was talking about that earlier. Okay, you're all about the honesty. You're all about finding, you know, this person came to grips about it this, this time. Now you, to, you love to deal with it. Okay, you value the truth. That's what most important to you. Remember I said that earlier in the reading with the second one about the honesty, about the deception, about the, the strength. Okay, victory and success. You will achieve it this time. Eight of Wands. Okay, authority. Guys, okay, Earth, you are the authority. Okay, you are the one people come to. You are the ones that usually are the boss. Okay, Virgo told you are the one that are usually, um, you know, able to get things going. Okay, you're your own boss. If you know, you know, you have to be a boss for someone else, but you're your own boss. Or if you are a boss at a company or a boss, it's saying you define your own destiny. You're the one that makes the rules. You're the Earth signs, and together you guys are really powerful. You authority. People just gravitate to ask you for advice, or, or you know, you're so humble. You give the, it's like you're giving authority. No, it's on you. You orchestrate your own destiny. Okay, things just work out for you guys, and you go places because you, it just comes with that. The territory of being a Virgo and a Taurus together. Sacrifice. Again, this could be taking talking to that family member, that person that you was like, or that friend that you was like, fuck this person. They could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or have that in their sign, mostly fire sign. Probably Leo and Aries or Sagittarius, probably other both. Or this person could be a Libra, or it could be, and also could be a Capricorn, or another earth sign like you, Virgo and Taurus, that you're having to sacrifice for, maybe giving time for, help this person out with their kids, help them out, maybe, you know, maybe help move something, or take some storage, or maybe they're, you know, travel, you know, need something, help them traveling, maybe need you to borrow your car, need you to help travel somewhere. I don't know what this travel situation is that I'm getting right now as I talk to you guys that I'm getting EMT about. Um, one second. But sacrifice is saying you, you're looking to maybe have to give up something, but you're going to gain a lot. And you're used to doing this, but this time it's asking you to really pay attention to the sacrifice because you are the one that can have the energy to be able to, you know, to, to make change. Um, it's going to take maybe a little bit more of either your time or, oh, enjoy the celebration, or, um, or your input, okay? Time or your input. Um, enjoy the celebration. I do see around you, Virgo, and um, towards a lot of people coming around you for drinks, for libation. You look like a party. If you don't start a party, you probably won't get done. Ultimately, this lets me know picture and success here on the left node in my south node or west node here is that you're going to definitely come out on top, okay? As far as it's concerned for the month of June um, for your sacrifice, okay? And you'll be all the better for it because whoever you help with this, even if it's just you and your, your partner um, or you, um, ultimately, Spirit is saying, we'll be rejoicing with you because we know how it is. Again, happy family. All right, we're going to pull nine of these. All right, I don't know why I hate not gonna come out, but for some reason, Happy Family wanted to come out before I can even freaking shuffle. I'm gonna pull nine of these. I can get the first one. Area. Okay. I see Archangel Area. All right. I see Archangel. I gotta pull it. I gotta pull it. I gotta pull it. Okay. Again. Victory. Okay. Happy Family. Archangel Ariel. Ancestors. Thank them. Thank you, Sending Masters. Thank our Angel Ariel. Victory again and success. Okay. We're gonna win, Taurus Virgo. This time it may be different. Dealing with this person or taking this person back in. I'm not saying be a fool, but I'm saying set boundaries with this person. Be clear about what it is, okay? Appreciation or reverse. This person being okay? Not being appreciated or feeling you not being appreciated by your, by your partner or whatnot, whoever. Okay, Archangel Chamuel next to Archangel Uriel, y'all. Y'all saw me pull it, okay? Hostilities, okay? Even with this, even if, even if it's between you two Virgo and Taurus, ask Archangel Chamuel to help you. Basically, like I just said, and thank him. Okay, appreciation. Say, make sure you thank this person, the Archangels, because sometimes we we call upon, we don't pray, we don't think, you know, we don't think to call upon our ancestors or call upon our um, ascended masters or our, our, our Archangels. Um, get to know them. Get to know all seven of them, or slash eight of them, um, if you count Sanofon and Metatron as twins. Um, but Ariel and Ariel are, are the female twin angels, but there are usually seven. Um, I, I usually that divide for eight, but um, there are seven main ones, okay? But there is, you know, with seven, okay? <laughs> Slash eight. Um, okay, with appreciation, okay? Ah, oh, Raphael in reverse. Archangel, okay? What's going on with this healing? Now, this is a future column, so reverse doesn't mean anything bad in this column. It means something to come, as I read it. Some people read differently, okay? Angel of love, upright. Got an angel all on one Freaking roll, Taurus and Virgo. Y'all just come with natural um, angelic um, energy. Okay, and that's key here. Guys of the moon, intuition being expanded, like I said in the beginning of the reading. Okay, and then here, patience as an angel. Okay, right next to the angels, my significant on the left, one more on the right. For the pool is Archangel Metatron. 
in reverse. The Eye of Angels here, guys. So Metron is saying basically in reverse here, Raphael on the right side. Now in reverse is that basically they're there to help you. You guys have Raphael and Metatron as your angels for this month, the call on Taurus and Virgo, to help you with healing because you do have a healing energy. Some of you guys do massages, some of you guys do therapy, some of you guys have all kinds of hats. But your main energy is being able to be to heal Virgo and Taurus and Metatron also speaks to your crown chakra. Okay? Um, not your crown chakra, I'm sorry, your third eye chakra. Uriel speaks to your crown. She's the top. Okay, six is your, your, your third eye. So again, third eye is your intuition. Goddess of the moon, okay? Um, so let's say I'm more so calling these angels to help you navigate through this month and give you strength in those areas. So this is what I'm seeing, okay? As far as that's concerned, and patience, ultimately saying it's gonna get there. Like we saw that first card with the man, man sitting on the world, be a little bit more patient, okay? Things are gonna happen to change for you guys, all right? Um, let me go ahead and pull these last cards. Just get a timing oracle spread for you guys. Okay, and girls. <laughs> I really like to use gender, gender uh, pronouns when talking to collectives because I was a lot of not let me call it by. So I apologize to my ladies and gentlemen, collective. Okay, uh, I'm going to pull seven of these. June, first card. Don't get up right in that. Past, future, okay, October, June, okay, three months from now, June, July, August, and that's September, September, October, okay, it's about the right time, a week from now, left side, wasting your time, in a month's time, okay, Thank you. And one July. Okay. That's just a that's just a focus. Okay. Point of reference here. But with these cards here, we're gonna at navigate this. June pass a week from now. It's not the right time. Okay. Whatever you're trying to do a week from now, don't rush it. Again, be patient. Wait on it. Okay. It's not the right time. Okay. Whatever this resonates for, right? June, it's gonna be a pivotal month for you. Things are moving even though you don't see it. Again, you see the hot air balloon moving in the sky? It moves like it looks like it moves slow, but it really moves fast as fuck and it's over this water. Use this time to really reflect in the month of June. Future, three months from now. Okay, June, July, August, September. The coronavirus should be ending based on the way I've been spreading. If you've been watching my videos or watching my uh, coronavirus videos, go ahead and go back and look at that. I do predict that in September this should end or be rounding about ending or all oh, magically disappear for those who believe the coronavirus even exists. Um, it does, but we can, that's a whole different conversation. Go check my video out to get that information. Um, October, okay? Are also going to be a good month for you, okay? June, this, these months up here are saying things are working. These months are saying you're, you're, you're harvesting or actually reaping the harvest of what you've been sowing, okay? October and September, things are going to be, my doors are going to be open for you in ways you never thought possible um, for you, Virgo and Taurus. It just comes with you because you saw the angels already have got your back. They already, you know, you, you just gravitate and navigate to angels. So hopefully that helps some of you, some of you out with that. Wasting your time again in June. Okay, whatever you're trying to do in June, don't rush it. It may not come out until October. Just be realistic about it. And that's okay. It's still before the end of the year, and you still have a couple months to enjoy it. Give it some time. If you're working on something musical, working on a play, working on a screencast, working on writing a book, working on an act, acting gig, or trying to get your comp card together, get your photos together for a photo shoot, um, or whatever you're trying to do as far as like um, cooking, get your own cookware, get your own kitchen together, trying to renovate. Take your time. It's going to happen for you, Virgo and Taurus, um, individually or together as a couple. October is going to come past. So when you watch this enough, when you see this, come back in October and comment and let me know. So it's like tomorrow, oh my God, we watch this in June. You were so on point. And I'm going to be like, I was? Oh my God. Because I'm humble like that. And you know, I mean, if you don't tell me, I won't know. But I do trust my cards 10,000%. Okay? Um, in a month's time, again, it's July. Okay? That's when you're able to see how this halfway cuts across this boat as if you're in the darkness, but halfway in the light. This is going to be balanced in July. In a month's time, things will be balanced. You will actually be chicken, 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 chicken. Ordering stuff on Amazon, ordering stuff on Wish.com. Things are going to be coming in for mail, parcel things that you may be waiting, like, you know, waiting on as far as money to order books or trying to renovate or trying to get your comp card together or try to get your modeling together or try to get this movie thing together or downloading the app or having, you know, a new phone, a new device, upgrade. Things are going to be doing that in July. You're going to be doing that in July. New car um, as well. If you're trying to sell your car, lease your car. Um, or get a new lease car, sorry, at least a new car, um, and trading your old in July. 
Okay, what this resonates for, right? All right, and um, also seeing um, a week from now, this person trying to you're trying to get this thing settled or trying to deal with this person a week from now. Um, maybe it's not the right time. Okay, whatever a week from now is that you may have planned in the past. If you think if you're trying to rush it a week from now, trying to get this done, let it go. Let that shit go. If you, let the chips fall where they're made. Okay, and let spirit talk to you. Stop trying to dive, drive your own will towards in Virgo. Virgo and Taurus, okay? This is what's going to cause you to more for the delays. And also acknowledge your ancestors. Call them by name instead of sitting there not acknowledging them. I have a picture of my dad right in my room. Let me show y'all. <laughs> Let me show you any of the time. Okay? I keep him in my group in my room. This is my dad. This is me. Okay? I call him every time. He helps me with every reading. Okay, keep a picture of your ancestors around. My dad, he's deceased as of May 17, 2014. Um, he's a Leo. Okay, I'm a Sagittarius. We got that fire energy. But I call my dad, and, and they call him on this reading, I said ancestors, but he knows, okay? But keep pictures of your ancestors around, your grandma. Find out who these people are. Go to ancestry.com, really invest in that. Do a sample, order that for a change, and find out your tree. And you'll get more power than you can imagine. All right? I promise you, this has been Psychic like Samaria here with your Love School training for the month of June for the signs of Virgo and Taurus. Um, if you like what you see so far, or if anything, if you've seen so far resonates with you, um, I would definitely admonish you, employee, please, to subscribe, share, comment below, and um, like as well. And uh, I'll see you next month. Peace out, guys.